Weird. I was expecting to hear coyotes. Great horned owl, no. Saw wet owl, yeah, but great horned owl, no. Well, that was a nice sunrise. Where are the woodpeckers at? In the past 15 years, I've been hired a lot to come find some really difficult species up here, northwood species that are more likely found in Canada. But here in northern Maine, they're present, and the five are boreal chickadee, Canada jay, spruce grouse, blackback woodpecker, and American three-toed woodpecker. That's your score. I'm going to see if I can find... <laughs> Sorry, uh, looked like two dozen white-winged crossbills just flew over, and yeah, they're cool too. Here's the thing, they're all tough. I don't find them every time. In fact, the number of times I've found all five species in one day, I can probably count to the fingers of one hand. One hand. Here we go. Canada jay. They're actually pretty common around here. Canada jays ought to be going to nest like any minute now. Somewhere after Memorial Day, the babies will be out and they'll just be all over the place. That's the easiest one of the boreal big five to get right there, Canada jay. Of course, your guidebook may still say gray jay. Canada wanted the name back and a couple of years ago, it became official. It's now back to being the Canada jay. Well, that's okay, we stole Canada warbler and even in Canada, it's the American robin. American Crow, American Red Star, they're in Canada. Yeah, it's fair. So this is a logging road. The North Main Woods is full of them, miles and miles and miles of places you can go. Just, you know, watch out for the logging trucks. Just so you know, this is a little bit pre-season. Three species of warbler come back in April up here. Palm warbler, pine warbler, and yellow rump warbler. All three are here. None of the others have shown up today, but next day or two, they're gonna to start to pop up. So why this particular spot? This is about a mile long of mature, tall black spruce. And that's what blackback woodpecker and American three-toed woodpecker really love. And I find them here pretty regularly, but not every time. Boreal chickadee, there we go. There's a lot of them around here and <laughs> this one's doing the chortle thing. That's territorial. That means it's telling the other boreal chickadees to stay out. I got my woman. This is mine. Leave me alone. And they don't do that um, much throughout the rest of the year. It's only this time of year. Another pro tip about boreal chickadees. In June, when they're on the nest, they go almost totally silent. They're hard to find. The moment they get off the nest with the youngsters, they're like wicked easy all over the place and noisy. So this is right at the start of singing season, and the ruby crowned kinglets are everywhere. I think I've heard more of them today than I have anything else, including white-throated sparrows, and they're everywhere singing. Are you an expert? Because I have never heard a white-throated sparrow do that, and I've heard thousands of white-throated sparrows. Starting every phrase with that robin-like call note. Funny thing is, he's moving around, but now I can tell exactly where that one individual is. Even when he goes a quarter mile down the road, it's still doing it. Okay, spruce grouse. I think I hear a flutter. Tell you what, can I... Um, while I go find them, can you hit the like button just so more people can see this? And I'll see where he is. There you are. Okay, he's aware something's going on. He thinks there's a female here, because otherwise he wouldn't have tipped me off by fluttering. And I think he's telling me to go away. Yeah, in fact, he is. Spruce grouse uh, don't want to be seen, so they'll stay in the thick stuff. But this time of year, males will go back to the same territory, and 
often it's right in off the road, so they've got a little clearing area they can use for strutting their stuff, hoping to lure a female in. Sometimes they'll actually use the road itself. Plus, the road has dust, and they love dust baths. So often you can get your spruce grouse right along the road. Come out to the right place, the right time of day, early in spring, and it just may get right in your feet. May is a particularly good time to find them because that is when they're definitely strutting their stuff. It's breeding season. Uh, the males have no role in actually um, raising the kids, so they'll mate with as many females as they can lure in to their mating territory. By uh, mid-June, they're done, and all the birds start to wander. The hens have their chicks. They go off. Males are also wandering. So May into early June is the easiest time to find them, it, except it's never really easy, but that's the easiest. So history is kind of funny. That's mile marker 66. Where is mile marker zero? Well, all the major logging roads around here are back, measuring back to something. In this case, it's 66 miles back to the old paper mill in Millinocket. The mill isn't even there now. It was torn down a few years ago, but that's gonna stay mile 66 forever. Okay, this is right at the beginning of May. There are two reasons to be here right this minute. Number one, the roads are too soft for logging trucks, so I have the woods all to myself. I've seen two pickup trucks all day on this major highway. And, and here is the second reason. Right now is when some of those rare woodpeckers are drilling out their holes, including this male blackback woodpecker. Blackback woodpeckers like that spruce grove I talked about earlier, but they can venture out a little more. The American three-toed woodpecker stays pretty much the same place, stands like this, and never wanders. They look very much alike, except for that little white area down the back of a three-toed woodpecker. They're just a teensy bit smaller. Their voice is just a teensy bit different. Otherwise, they're very similar. One way they differ is that the blackback woodpecker has a very steady drum, a lot like a hairy woodpecker, a little louder, a little longer, and that's about it. Uh, the three-toed woodpecker drum is its more ragged. It's the best way to describe it. This is my favorite mile in the entire state. Everything is here. All five of my American three-toed woodpecker, blackback woodpecker, spruce grass, boreal chickadee, and Canada jay. All here. Doesn't mean I'll find them. Unbelievable. I can hear Skitter. Um, I name my spruce grass if I get to know them. He's fluttering right in there on his usual territory. And he's been there for at least five years. I've known this grouse almost as long as many others. Well, oh, for God's sakes, there's a black back woodpecker calling back there. This road is nuts. And white wing crossbills are flying over. Okay, let's be honest. I've heard two American three-toed woodpeckers today, but I didn't see either one. That really doesn't count. Look, if you already hit that like button like you were supposed to, maybe, maybe you want to reconsider. Okay, that's it. There's another video coming out. Subscribe.